Hello everybody, happy, happy Thursday. I'm standing up today. I usually sit down because I'm lazy, but I'm standing up today because we have a table full of goodness going on, guys. I'm gonna knock all this over. I swear I am. But guys, we have a double collection release today, which is amazing, okay? We've got a fraction of the projects in the collections that we have already made today, a fraction of the cuff owls that we have used. Um, and we've made some really, really awesome projects that I can't wait to break down today and show you guys uh, what all they are. And then we're gonna go on the iPad and I'm gonna show you guys around the two fall and Halloween categories that we have on the site. But guys, welcome. I am so happy that you're here today. I know that Kathy carved out some time for mowing her yard, Joe. Kathy was about to go mow. I was too. And then she said, <laughs> no, we're going live. I'll go mow later. She's in Wisconsin. Kathy, I hope that it's still pretty weather for you to mow after the live, but I appreciate you putting your day on halt. And guys, since Joseph is a literal miracle worker and is amazing, I'm looking up here. And when you see me look over here, we have a really, really awesome monitor that's hanging from the ceiling showing me the comments, guys. It's so awesome. I don't have to be on my phone. I don't have to rely 100% on Joe, even though he rocks it out of the park. But I came in today, and there is a monitor hanging from the ceiling to where I can read all these comments. Uh, Catherine said, good morning from Elk Island National Park. Jennifer said, just seen the collection that was just sent out. It's amazing. Jenny Spear said, good morning. Isn't it awesome just looking over here? It's so cool. Joseph is the best. And as always, he's here with me today. Hi, Joe. Hello. Hello. He waves. He waves. <laughs> Hi, Joe. But, guys, we are here. We have two collection launches, two collection releases today. I'm sure you all got an email because I did. So I know that you guys did. And if you're new here, guys, welcome. Uh, I am one of the awesome team members here from Makers Gonna Learn, an ultimate die cutting community. And if you have a die cutting machine that works with SVG and PNG cut files, then you will adore this membership. And today is the day for you because we have $20 off your yearly membership if you join Makers Gonna Learn in the next few days. We're having an amazing sale to celebrate all of our awesome new subscribers here on YouTube. So thank you all so, so much for that. So in return, go ahead and get your yearly membership with the very first link down below or Joseph will be popping those links in the comments and use the code MAKE, that's M-A-K-E at checkout to get $20 off of your uh, yearly membership, which is amazing. In that yearly membership, you get all of these awesome cut files plus over 1,100 more plus 200 plus fonts that are released all the time. We have some being released this month as well. You get free printable guides like this one right here and so many more of these. Access to the members only Facebook group, three free e-courses and a free commercial license, meaning you can sell everything you see on this table with your yearly membership. You can sell what you make uh, using air cut files and fonts, which is amazing. Good morning, Rachel. Dawn says, good morning, Dawn. Good morning, Joe. She says as well, she doesn't want to leave you good out. Good morning, Dawn. Good morning, Dawn. He still waves at me, I love it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Kimberly says, Denton, Texas reporting in. Love the new cut files. So excited for these two collections, Jenny says. Good morning. Guys, we're so glad that you love the collections, okay? Of course, they're awesome artists. Spend so much time working on these. And we have a double release today because we thought, well, it's really a collection and an awesome bonus collection. But with Tanner and Courtney going to Thailand and things kind of being a little bit um, wonky here in the studio of us going live, you know, on our normal time and things, we just thought, why don't we just not even wait a little longer to give them that bonus collection? Let's just drop them both at the same time, give them all the value for this month. So we all hope that you highly enjoy all of these that we have. We have a fall collection and a Halloween collection, both of which we dropped today. So I hope that you all enjoy that. Hi, hi, Colleen. Hi, Susan. See, that's the problem. If I'm looking up, I knock stuff over, Joe. You start waving and get happy. This is going to be, yes, i got to keep my hands to my side. Uh, let's see. Dawn said, Joe, you need to show your face and wave to us. Listen, we'll, we'll snag him one day this week. We'll snag him. I'm sure we will. Right. right. He's, look, he's like, no, no, he will. Uh, you all spoil us, and we love it. Kathy says, oh, Kathy, that is so sweet of you to say. We do try our best, absolutely, to give you guys everything that you want and more, hopefully. Um, so... I guess we'll just kind of dive into it. I think I want to start over here and work our way through. So up here in the very top over here is a really, really cute, it's a, it's a wood board, okay? So Courtney, PSA. Courtney worked her heart out making all of these projects. I did not make a single one of them. Tanner did not make any of them. Courtney slaved over all of these projects for us and they are amazing. Me and Tanner, I forget what we were doing. 
I don't remember what we were doing, but Courtney was like over in her little sewing nook over here, just absolutely just kill, killing herself making all these. But we love them and they're all adorable. I had my little um, goddaughter, Addie Sue. She was able to come and model all the onesies. So I'm so excited for those and those photos. But anyways, I'll grab this guy. So this is a wood piece, okay? She went to Home Depot and bought a wood piece and sawed it, you know, so you can make it whatever length you want to. She just painted it with um, Americana multi-surface paint. You could use any multi-surface paint, um, acrylic paint. We love chalk paint. Chalk paint works amazing on things like this. So definitely um, look at the chalk paint if you're somewhere and you haven't tried it yet. And then, okay guys, I forgot the name of it again. It's in a lot of these projects, so you're gonna have to remind me. You guys tuned in when we were showing you guys this project on one of the lives a while ago, but what is this stuff called again? I thought it was called like straw. Cause it looks like straw, doesn't it? Yes. It looks like straw yes. or like hay, but it's not, it's called something. <clears throat> so you guys let me know what this is called again and then I'll be able to call it that for the rest of the live cause it's in a lot of projects. But this guys, this is one of our exclusive Makers Gonna Learn vinyl patterns that is in the awesome box in the Maker Materials box. Now, if you've got your box, you're gonna be getting a sheet of this exclusive patterned uh, vinyl, which is amazing. Every single box has exclusive patterns of vinyl and iron-on in them. Go get your box, it's in the link down below. This is $100 value, and there's four tiers of subscription so it can fit any budget. Okay, guys, you will absolutely love these boxes. Christmas is coming up next. But anywho, uh, so this is just vinyl on a painted wood little board here. Ra Ra Raffia. 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 That's how I say it. And then we've tied some Raffia up here at the top and <laughs> finished it off. And it's a perfect little project. I couldn't have done it better myself. I think Courtney knocked it out of the park with the colors and everything like that. It's so modern, so fall, and so stinking cute. Absolutely love that one. And you will have to switch cameras here, Joe, because this thing is hard to read. But here is, so it's like a sharing plate. And what they say is that you get this plate and you make it and you put, now I would seal this though. And then you put like uh, cookies or brownies or something on it. You take it to church, you take it to your neighbor and they'll make something and give it to somebody else and make something and give it to somebody else. And it says, let me see if you can. It's upside down. Is it upside down? Yeah. Oh, switch this around, Joe. Switch this around. Is everything else is upside down. Everything else is upside down? No, just that is upside down now. Just this? Yeah. I'm confused. But this, everything else is upside down. Well, I'm so confused. Yeah. Which one do you want? I want my hands coming. I want the <laughs> one on the right. I want the one that they're seeing. Okay. So they can read this then. Right now? It's on the right side. No. What? Joe, are you sure? Uh-huh. Joe. Look at it. Go. Look at it. I can't see it. Just get it to where they can read it. Doing this. <laughs> <But here. laughs> Is there a, so they can read it now. There you go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Glad I got that worked out. <laughs> I can't zoom it in. Oh. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're rocking and rolling, guys. Wow. Technical difficulties. But it says, this plate belongs to everyone wherever it may go with each new sharing of its gift, the love and blessings grow. So fill it up and pass it on to family and to friends to start the circle one more time. Love's journey never ends. It's a really cute plate. We got this charger. I don't know where we got this charger, but it's it chargers are cheap. Like chargers are dirt cheap, okay? So, oh, looky there, Joe. He's just switching around for me. Okay, cool. We're, we're, we'll get it worked out, guys. <laughs> but I love the plate. It's just a gold charger. You can get any kind of charger. I know they have them at Hobby Lobby like 40% off now because it's almost Christmas time, which is awesome. So that one's really cute. Do go ahead and keep it on this, Joe. And I'm just gonna show some other small ones that we have coming up. Next up is this super cute little card here. It's a Halloween card, of course. And their cut file has the window here and then the little ghosts. And we just made a super simple uh, card outline here. Car you know, we just cut that out. And then we used a font to have boo here. And we got these little foam squares to give it some dimension. But if you guys have some spare paper, you know, some little, just if you're a card maker at all or a paper crafter, you know you guys have some of these colors of paper laying around. Now, Joe, what comments am I missing? What's going on with everybody? Everyone just saying how beautiful it is. Good. I'm <clears> glad. <throat> Let me know if there's any questions um, about colors. Or Tina wants to know where you order her maker material box. 
where she orders it, mm -hmm. I'm sure Joe would be more than happy to drop that link for you guys. But that's a super easy little card there. But the Maker Material Box, like I said, has a, several different uh, tiers of membership for you guys, which is awesome. And then I'll keep it going here. So next up, this is a t-shirt, okay? So it is, um, okay, we're working it out. Uh, it's just a black t-shirt and it says shopping is my cardio and this is one of the files that we have um, in our uh, fall category, our fall collection. And we just used white iron on, of course, and I love it for Black Friday. Can you think about wearing this on Black Friday? This would be perfect, you know. What if you and your family all had these, you know, and you like you get split up because one of you is going to buy a DVD <laughs> and one of you is trying to wait in line for the, you know, your TV that you really want that's like a 49 inch. So then you could just all be wearing the same shirt. So you could go up to the security guard and be like, hey, I need you to find somebody that I have lost that has a shirt on that says shopping is my cardio. I promise you that security guard would not forget that. So <laughs> <laughs> just a little, little tip there. And we also, right along with that, have this one that you guys have been seeing in the background. This says, I'm only a morning person on Black Friday. And we use white iron-on and then this like neon pink iron-on, which is really, really cute too. We love all these cut files that have been created. And these, guys, these are not a font. This is hand-lettered artwork that you can only get at Makers Gonna Learn. And again, the membership is $20 off using the code MAKE IT CHECKOUT. If you would like to get that, go ahead and opt in. You will not regret it. And then... Here we have three, I forgot to get candles for them, but three really, really cute um, luminaries here that Court made using um, three different files. And these weren't just plain files, guys, okay? She manipulated a file here, okay, and stretched it out, contoured some things out. Same with this. All of these files have really cute words and sayings in them that Courtney so cleverly contoured everything out and used them like this. So she just, well, they really go like this. Hang on. There we go. Um, and she just painted them, you know, with vinyl on there, peeled it off. She has this some vellum in here that's just kind of making it a little bit cloudy, you know, right there. And then she added some raffia. I've got it, guys. Some raffia up here. And you just add a little candle, and those are good to go. How perfect is that? So stinking cute. Let me know if I have any questions, Joe. Uh, Melanie says, I need that shirt. Who doesn't? Um, it's such a cute shirt. I Kathy love says, shirt. awesome luminaries. Lori says, love the shirts. So cute. Look at those crisp lines. Let me get up here. Oh, goodness. Those are some crisp lines there. Good crisp. And this is chalk paint. We use chalk paint on that for sure because chalk paint is so much better. And then look at this, guys. Look how cute this is. Stress, blessed, and pumpkin spice obsessed. Now, you guys are going to die. This is just a little square piece of wood. Okay, we chopped this up from another piece of wood that was a little bit larger. And then we used one piece of our awesome, exclusive, patterned uh, vinyl from Makers Gonna Learn. Or excuse me, I think this is Iron On, actually. Yeah, this is Iron On. So this is patterned Iron On, but this is exclusive to Makers Gonna Learn in the Maker box, okay? So again, we're talking about Maker Materials here. If you want to get your Maker Material box, you have to click the link in the description below, the second link in the description, or Joseph can pop that in the links, or excuse me, in the comments as I know he's always doing. This is one of five amazing patterns that you will get in that uh, box here. But you have missed this box if you opt in today. But the next box, guys, is just getting better, okay? We're just gearing up for Christmas time and it's gonna be amazing. But, okay, so we use that. A piece of, this was actually a piece of um, a, what do you call it, place setting, placemat. Uh, from Walmart that was 99 cents. It was just a little burlap placemat. And we cut it out. Courtney cut it and then hot glued it on here. But before she hot glued it on here, of course, she ironed on with this brown and this orange. And this is a cut file of ours with hand-lettered artwork that's so stinking cute. I just love the way that turned out. It's just really, really cute. Uh, Michelle said, totally thank you for that. doing wood projects. My ever just gave me three boxes of wood. Oh, listen. You, you always need wood, okay? Scrap wood is the best. Don't ever... Take scrap wood for granted, people. And this right here is really, really cute. This is another one of our exclusive uh, patterns. And they're little, if you can tell, they're little like squash and little um, gourds and pumpkins. That's what it is in little different colors. And this is a chalk couture. I wish I had a sticker on it. We must have taken it off. This is a little chalk couture thing. So, you know, it just sets right down in here, which is really, really cute. And anything chalk couture, guys. Vinyl absolutely loves to stick to. Vinyl loves to stick to chalk couture anything. So this is chalk couture, and we used our pattern vinyl here, 
and this is our Wesley font. If you were wondering, Wesley font has this distinctive little um, piece gone in the middle, which I think adds a lot of personality here. And we just use that font to write, please just take one. And this is so cute because this guys is perfect for if you want to go out trick or treating with your kiddos, you know that a lot of people might not abide by the please just take one rule, but laying this out on your front porch next to your big bowl of candy when you go out of the house and you're not able to, you know, answer the door and give out candy. This is just a really cute way to kind of politely be like, hey kids, don't take all my candy your first time around, which is so cute. Um, but I love this. It's a great idea to make. And this is something, it, it's teeny tiny. You know, you can fold this up, throw it in your box, in your Halloween box, and keep this year after year and use this year after year. It's just one of those timeless things that doesn't take up a lot of space. It's perfect if you don't stay home and uh, hand out candy, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of us don't, you know, if you have little kids or grandkids, you want to be out with those those kiddos trick-or-treating, seeing their uh, happiness and all that good stuff. But speaking of kiddos, we have three onesies that are so stinking cute here. So we have this one that is multi-layer. It says, hey, beautiful, and I just, I can't even deal with it. It's so stinking cute. And one of the little ghosts has, look, little pink cheeks. It's just so stinking cute. You can see the little heart here. Courtney did a great job with that. And of course, multi-layer iron-on projects are easy peasy. Along with that one, guys, this was probably my favorite one because it has a lot of personality. But look, there's candy in the belly. How cute is this? So this is absolutely perfect for a little baby. Uh, when my goddaughter was uh, modeling these, we put a little white tutu on her. And let me tell you guys, you talk about the cutest thing ever. This is absolutely perfect for a baby's first Halloween. You know you don't want to put a baby in too big of a costume or too much of a costume that makes them uncomfortable or too hot or anything like that. So this is perfect, a little simple onesie with a little um, tutu, priceless. Joseph, am I missing any comments or anything like that? Uh, hang on. Patricia asks, are you able to remove it without bringing the board? Talking about the... Uh, remove it, yes, absolutely. So this is just um, plain vinyl, it's just pattern vinyl. So you could easily, I'm not going to, of course, because we need this, but you could easily take your weaving tool here and just go ahead and pick all these little letters up. And you would not remove the board unless you were, you know, really digging in with your weeding tool, which you, of course, don't have to do. But, yeah, you can absolutely remove that if you want to after a season or if you want to change it to something Christmas-themed and keep it in your uh, house for Christmas. Or, guys, you can flip it over, put something Christmas on this side, and just have it be a double-sided deal. You know how cute that is? It's a great idea, too. But... Um. Don says, where does the candy pieces come from on that shirt? On this shirt? Mm -hmm. So it's here. It's in the file. It's already here. This is a file that's ready for you guys. And again, an amazing thing about our Makers and Learn files is that if you wanted to take this in a design space and contour out these skeletons, then you could just have the candy pieces. If you wanted to add these to a shirt or add these somewhere different, you could totally do that. You have a lot of freedom with those cut files. So that's just a really simple iron-on onesie idea that's perfect. And then another a uh, multi-layer iron onesie we have is this one for fall and it says you are my sunshine. Look how cute it is. This is a beautiful little sunflower file that we have, but I love the orange. I love that it's orange and brown. Courtney did an amazing job uh, putting these colors together, but this is just so cute. I love, a lot of people really, really adore this, this song. This song has a lot of meaning to a lot of people. Um, it's a great song. I absolutely love the song and it's just so cute. Can you just imagine a little baby wearing this? adorable but that's a really simple gift idea too if you're looking for gift ideas these are great ones as well so next guys we have a super fun um print and cut iron on bag okay this is an awesome trick-or-treat bag this is a great idea this is just a little black tote bag that you can get off of amazon or anything like that let me see i think it's like 100 percent cotton yeah yeah it's cotton so it's just a little cotton canvas tote bag here and it's perfect, of course, for trick-or-treat candy, okay? This is a great one. We just used a new fun brand, uh, printable iron-on, and Courtney purposely loved how the inside of the letters had the little, um, all the little personality to them. So she left those uh, in, but you could leave those out if you wanted to, or you could leave them in. You could not include the candy. You can take this candy and put it on another shirt uh, if you wanted to. You could take this candy and put it in this little skeleton's belly if that's what you wanted to do. You know, you can get really personal with these crafts, but this is just 
a really another another really super fun way to personalize your Halloween stuff. And of course, this can totally be reused. You know, a lot of people like to have those plastic ones or those uh, really big bulky bags or things like that. And this is so much easier to store than one of those really big pumpkin bags or buckets, you know what I'm saying? So really keeping something like this that you can roll up, fold up, and throw away for next year, not throw away, but store for next year is a really good idea too. Uh, Tina said, where are these new files at? Where are these new files at? That's a great idea. Let me grab my iPad. We're not quite done showing y'all around yet, but that is okay. I will show you guys what's going on on the iPad and then we'll continue. So I just showed them. Yep. yep. It's okay. Whatever. Let me get close up here. I'm going to knock some stuff over as I try and get some things out of my way for myself. So if you are here on the Makers Going to Learn site, you're going to go to Cut Files, okay? Look, I need to update my address, it says. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Cut Files here. And then once you're in Cut Files, we added two new collections, okay? But they are not added to the site in collections. They're added to categories, which makes it much easier for us all to find, much easier for us all to see. So. We're going to go to fall first. We added a fall and a Halloween, so we're going to go to fall first. And these are going to be mixed in with the ones from previous years too, which is fine, but the majority you'll be able to tell if you've been here for a while, if you've been a member for a while, you'll be able to see which ones are from which year. So most of these are new. This one's not new, but you can see most of these are new. So we got this awesome cornucopia here, which is so cute. Got a banner going on. You have um, a little squirrel. Look how cute this squirrel is. I cannot wait to print and cut this little squirrel, okay? I'm just living for it. And the ones I don't mention are the ones that I'm pretty sure were last year's, okay? Look at this cutie pie file. This on a onesie is, I can't, I can imagine it, okay? Or an apron, that would be super cute to have that on an apron. And let's see, we're going to keep a scroll in here. That's really pretty. I'm pretty sure that was from last year, though. I absolutely love this other print and cut idea. There it is. I'm only morning person on Black Friday. Let's keep going. Black Fry, yay. Love that. I love these little bags too. Those are such cute bags. Welcome to our patch. I cannot wait, guys. I, I'm living to make this one on a burlap sign to hang outside, you know, on one of those little, little flag poles outside. How cute would that be? There's the one that we use for this project here, guys. Stressed, blessed, and pumpkin spice obsessed. This one, can you imagine this, guys, on a Halloween color pocket tee with one of our monograms inside? You talk about personalization to the max. So cute, guys. Let me see. I love this. So fields and plant vineyards and gather a fruitful harvest. And look at all this cute stuff that we've got going on here. These would make amazing little um, farmhouse decor, little signs, you know. And... Let's see here. Those are all from last year. Leftovers are for quitters, Joseph. This is like me and you. Really? Leftovers yeah. are it for is. quitters. True. It is. Super. I'm thankful to have a family who takes eating as seriously as I do. Yes. It's like they made these for us, Joe. Love that one. Thanksgiving leftovers. Like there's going to be any because leftovers are for quitters. But that's really cute print and cut project as well. Um, get your fat pants ready. Love that one. So cute with that little piece of pie here. Give thanks. And I, I adore the little details that we've got going on in this collection here. All our little, because I just imagine grabbing these up and taking these and put the, putting these on, you know, different files and things. It'd be really, really cute. And let's see. Ooh, this is another one we have that we haven't talked about yet. Uh, Hello Fall Boots, Sweater, Scarves. Check, check, check. I absolutely love that. Uh, I love all things about fall. Turkey time. Look at that little turkey, guys. Can you not? I'm just so excited. This would be so cute to put, you know, like on your table to print out for um, Thanksgiving and things like that. That'd be really cute. Um, this is one of my favorite files from last year for sure. This beautiful um, print and cut pumpkin here. Then we have this. It's a new one this year. It's so cute. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And instead of like Christmas stuff around it, We've got pumpkin spice lattes and little leaves and pumpkins and a big turkey and football, and it's so stinking cute. We have this one, Morning Pumpkin, which is where Courtney got the um, pumpkin file from this project here. You can tell she just kind of contoured it out, and then boom, there it is. And this is also where she got the pumpkin file from here, guys, if you can believe it. So she took this into design space here contoured the words out, and then stretched it to fit right here perfectly on the mason jar. 
because court is so stinking cool. Uh, Joe, am I missing anything? Cheryl says these cup piles keep on getting better and better. They were oh. already amazing. Rachel taking it to the next level. Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm not taking it to the next level. The awesome, our awesome artist, Courtney, for planning it all. Tanner for getting everything, for getting the ball rolling. I'm just here just trying guys i'm just telling you guys about all the awesomeness that is all that i'm doing barbara says is there a file for the please take one i can't find it uh no it is not a file uh was that barbara yeah barbara this is a font as i mentioned this is our wesley font so um that means of course you have to be a yearly member to have fonts and if you all are not a yearly member now is your time to become one because we have 20 dollars off using the code make at checkout if you want to become a yearly member please go ahead and do that because you have to be a yearly member to have access to fonts. And there are so many fonts that um, are on the Makers and Learn site that you are going to adore. Love all the fonts. Love all the fonts. And again, you got to be a yearly member to um, have access to those. But anyways, Joe, any other questions? Uh, different Barbara asks, where is the um, sunshine flower? A different flower? Barbara. So, Barbara, we're going to get to it. Sl slow down. We're, we're going to get there eventually. They are here, right here it is, as you can see, you are my sunshine. Um, so, and it's called sunshine, if you want to know the name of it, you can totally search it. But I'm going to scroll back up to the top. All you eager beavers, we're, we're getting there, I promise. Um, so here we have nuts about fall, and this, guys, this is the really cute file that Courtney uh, contoured out to make this guy. Look how cute it is, absolutely love it. So this is what she made uh, this from. And I just love that Courtney shows um, projects like this that you can, she shows contouring them. She shows the different ways that you can craft with them because you don't just have to use the file like this. You, you guys can think out of the box. We just, we give these to you guys to inspire you and then you can take it to the next level if you want to, which is really, really cute. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. And then here is the third and final one that Courtney made for our awesome luminaries here, our little um, leaf or a little leaf guy that says there is always something to be thankful for. Super, super cute. Uh, we've seen that one here. And then grateful, thankful, blessed. Simple, easy, great for home decor, okay. Um, let's see. Up all night to get lucky on Black Friday. That's a really, really cute one too. Um, let our lives be full of both thanks and giving. Love that. Love these little bitty wispy leaves here. Can't wait to use those on some projects coming up for sure. This is hysterical. Love this one. What are you thankful for? Vegans. That's so good. Love that one. Um, small seeds of gratitude will produce a harvest of hope. That's really cute. And look, there's seeds. Look, little seeds. Little, so thinking cute. And then here, Miss Other Barbara, <laughs> is the <laughs> file that we were talking about here that we use with our onesie here. This You Are My Sunshine onesie that turned out so stinking cute. And let me see. Oh, this one, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, can we imagine? Can we imagine the print and cut projects with this? Can we? How cute is this? So I know that we had one of these for Christmas. It was holding a little Christmas tree, but this one is so cute. I just love how it kind of looks vintage, you know, and the pumpkins on the back and the little, um, little uh, what's this, hay? Yeah, I guess it's hay. Sure. Corn, hay? Probably Corn hay. stalks, sure, we'll go with that. Corn stalks. Let's go, sure. Joe says corn stalks. Then we have some, uh, some more really cute pattern paper going on here. We got a lot of this going on, which is cute. I can really see this just like I could. I could see this being print, printed out on white paper, then cut and put in a frame. Simple, really, really cute. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm talking about. But I really, really love that too. Uh, Kimberly says, "Love my yearly membership. It ramped up my crafting times a thousand. I've learned so much from the Facebook group, oh my God. Makers You Want to Learn site, and Pro Courses. And I can't wait for my annual subscription box." You guys, that is so awesome. Thank you so much. We're so glad that you enjoy your membership and enjoy everything we have here to give. We try and try to go above and beyond for you guys, so you guys uh, continue to stay um, inspired to craft every day, every time, every chance you get. And we love being a part of that. And we're so glad that you guys give us your testimonies and stuff like that. Thank you all so much. But we're going to keep it going. We're almost done with these guys. And then we're going to show you the Halloween ones we've got. And then we only have uh, about four or five more projects to show you on the table. And then, guys, we're good to go. We, we, we're going to go and let you guys craft your little hearts out. This is one of my favorites here. And I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek to this. Um, this is what we use it on. It's a beautiful galvanized tub here, as you can see it's shining. And we use farm fresh pumpkins. And another thing that Courtney decided to do, she made an executive decision 
that this was a little bit small to put this on. So she decided to take out the hand-picked 50 cents per pound, which is perfect. And look how cute it looks. You would never know that it's missing something down here if you, you know, you just wouldn't know. You would have absolutely no idea that it was missing something. So you have that option to have it there or have it not be there on something like this, but it's really, really cute. I love how that turned out. Um, let's see here, we're gonna keep going. And here's this plate file, okay? And it comes with a beautiful little ring around it that Courtney did not choose, again, to uh, have in the file and you can choose it or you don't have to. It's whatever you wanna do, which is really cute. And now guys, we are all out of those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here now because we already looked at our fall, but now we wanna look at our Halloween. So we're gonna to go to our Halloween section and show you guys some of the new Halloween ones we've got. So, um, we find some new ones here. There's our Hey Bootiful that we had on our onesie here. How cute that turned out. Love that. Let's see, we're gonna keep a scrolling, keep a scrolling. I love this one, which has gotta to stick together. It's really, really cute. Think about that on a bag, like we did this print and cut bag. That would be really cute on a bag as well. You know, especially if your kid was being a witch for Halloween, that would be really, really cute. Uh, Beverly said she's gonna make sure it's for going to the pumpkin patch with her girls. Oh my gosh, yes, please. I love the pumpkin patch, guys. Going and doing the hay rides and all the fun things and then going to pick out your pumpkin. I love it, I do it every year. My favorite pumpkin patch is called Echo Valley Corn Maze and it's opening up um, next month on like the 15th and I've shared it on Facebook, I'm ready to go, I love it. But uh, this is another really fun one that says Halloween. I love the spider webs and the different colors and things like that. That would be a really cool iron on project if you wanted to do that. And we have, you got some different options of some fancy little witch hats for you guys there. Let's keep a going here. I think this one is new. I don't think our spider web here or witch please is new, but I think this one is new. This happy Halloween. I love the spider webs and the little spider falling down. This would be a real, another really good one to have. Ooh, guys, maybe a double-sided burlap uh, flag outside with that one on it, welcome to our patch, and then this on the other side to flip around, you know, after the month is over. That would be really, really cute, too. Then we have this cute little happy skull. I forget what these are called. Sugar skulls, I think is what those are called. That's really cool. I love all the colors in that. And look how spooky this is, Joe. Look. Nice. Joe. Mm -hmm. Spooky. Very. Oh, my goodness. And, guys, if you're just tuning in with us, Welcome to the live stream. You're probably like, whoa, what are you going over? So we released two collections today for you guys, a fall collection, a Halloween collection, and we are so excited about them. We are showing you all the projects that we've made and we're going through here on our iPad and showing you all the files. If you want to join in on the files today and you are not already a member of Maker to Learn, please click the very first link below or the link that Joseph is constantly throwing in those comments there and you can go ahead and select that and get $20 off of your yearly membership using the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout, which is amazing, guys. It is perfect, it's a perfect time to join in because it is $20 off for you guys to get that yearly membership. Courtney says, I love release days. It's late here in Thailand, but I'm up watching. <gasps> Cor Cord, hi Cord, I didn't know you were here, Joseph. Uh, is switching my monitor up here. Now I can see my own hands and stuff, which is very handy, huh? Handy, handy. Oh my gosh, terrible pun. But um, I cannot see the comments. Joseph is seeing the comments for me, but I'm so glad that you are here. Hi, Court. I hope you're doing well. What time is it in Thailand? If it's, it's like 11 oh, it's like 11, it's like 11:20 yeah. in Thailand. Court, go to bed. You need to go get some get some rest. Not like you need beauty sleep because you're beautiful already, but you know what I mean. So everyone's saying those hands are like beautiful window cleans. Oh my heaven, guys! Those hands. I don't know about them hands. Them hands are creepy. I'd, I'd come, I'd wake up in the morning, go in the kitchen, be like, oh my gosh, and then forget that I'd put them there. Like, I would be freaking out of those hands. They'd be really cute, though, if you're doing a little, oh. if you have, like, a teenage boy that loves the creepy kind of stuff, you know, but little kids, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, Sharon said, if you wanted to make window clings, would you just mirror the image? Um, so, if you're wanting to do vinyl, then yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, just mirror that image because you're putting it on inside and you want it to be seen outside. So yeah, just mirror it. Really good thinking though there. That's good. Uh, and here's another one that's new that's spooky. And I'm just going to say, I really appreciate that the skull is not like a normal skull. I like that it's a little cartoony because it goes with the whimsical, you know, the whimsical nature of the um, font that we've got going here, which this isn't a font, again, hand letter but you know what I mean of how the font looks how the hand lettering looks I really really like that I think it's a really cool touch that it gives and 
these guys, I, th I don't know if they're together or not. I don't think they are. These are really, really cool. So this, these are really cool little potion bottle labels and we've got those here. We've made three of them. This one is Deadly Nightshade here, which is purple. And this is Kool-Aid, guys. And this one is Frog's Breath. Look how cool that is. And I love the bottles they're in, too. And then here's Worm's Wart. But them all together in, the, in these bottles, they're just so stinking cute. So, um, and you can tell, look, Courtney completely, it's like she took this one to a whole different level. You can see that one. Look. She like flipped it up and made it really long. Look at her. She, man, Courtney is on it. She just, she knows what to do, man. Courtney knows. She loves to manipulate these to give you guys more inspiration on what you can do with them. So you see this, but this doesn't mean you have to have it going this way because clearly Courtney didn't either. I just love the way that she does that. And sometimes it's, you know, sometimes I don't even realize it until you get in here and you're looking at the files. Here's another, you know, kind of creepy one that was made that's really, really cool. Joe, what would you do with this? I'm gonna put you on the spot. What do you What do you think? Something you could do with this? I mean, put like on a basket with the candy or something. Oh, like, Joe! Like, grab the candy or something. Okay, I really like that. That would be really cute. Like, like the it's coming out of the grave right, and the yeah. grave is candy. Yeah, that's yeah. okay, Joe. Joe's uh -huh. Joe's with me. That's really cute. I could see it coming out of a pocket on a pocket T-shirt. Yeah, that would be really be cool. cute too. See those little hands coming out. I don't know why my mind's on pocket tees so much. And look at these three right here. You got little witch legs, little witch feet there. Those are so super duper cute there. Oh, I've pressed it. I've pressed it. My bad. Look at me. Let me go up now. Yay. And then we got some four different ghosts for you guys, like we had like a three witch hats. We have four ghosts here for you guys, which is really cute. Then trick or treat, and this is what we use on that print and cut bag that we have. We absolutely love that. Super, super cute. And then, oh, here's our little ghosties. Look, guys, here's our ghost from our car. I'm trying to reach to get it. Look, look how cute. Courtney did a great job with this, too. And I love that it just has a little dimension from those foam squares. Those really took out to the next level, too. I love the way those turned out. And we have some little eyes. These would be good if you want to make these ginormous and put them on doors. I've always loved those eyeballs on doors. I think it's so cute. Um, which way to the candy? Oh, that's cute. And there's some candy too, like what's in his belly here. Uh, what's in the little belly here on the skeleton. So you can take candy from a bunch of different files here if you wanted to. There's that worm's wart we got going on. And then we're going to scroll down and hit next page. I know we've got a couple more going on here too. Uh, oh, look at this little guy. Okay, so these, we'll find the other monster too, but these are so stinking cute for a ton of things, guys. Okay, great for parties too, okay? So there's that happy Halloween. And then look, we have these, what are they called? What are they called? I forget what these are called. Oh my gosh. Mummies? I just, I, think, I don't know. I just knew what these were called. It's like a silhouette, but these oh, kind of the Victorian silhouettes have a name, you know, but that's really cool. Mm -hmm. So there's the girl version, and there's a dude somewhere. Uh, go, go back up, right there. Oh, right here's the dude. See, Joe could see it. Right here's our dude going. He's really, really cool. Um, let me get down here to find some more new ones. Oh, here's the little monster I was looking for. So guys, guess what Court did with this, okay? I'm just gonna be real with you. Me, as a crafter, it would take me a while to think about something to do with this, and guess what she did with it? Look, Joe, is this not the cutest thing ever? It's adorable. She took it, had the Cricut after it printed and then cut it. She had it cut little holes in its little hands right here. And then she found Google Eyes and stuck Google Eyes on it and put it on a little, put it on a little, look how cute this is, put it on a little sucker. It is I just perfect. can't get over it. If you're going to your church, you're going to your grandkids' house and you're making them, uh, you know, their candy bags, because you know that we all love our little candy bags, you can make them this with little Google Eyes. How stinky cute is that? I just can't get over it. That's so creative of Courtney to make. Love that one. And then, you can't scare me, I'm a mom. That is adorable. So, moms everywhere need to be printing, print, or excuse me, cutting this out, ironing it on a t-shirt, and wearing this when you take your kids trick-or-treating. That would be so stinking cute. And then here, we've got our little candy in the belly uh, cut file for you guys, which is so cute. Uh, this is perfect for a onesie. If, you, if it's your baby's first Halloween, that's a really good, that's a really good one to pop on them here. Well, I think this is just really cute. You know how you like those like circle labels? I really like this. It says trick or treat, Halloween, enter if you dare, October 31st, beware. I just think it's really cute. I love how, I, I, there's a lot of stuff you could do with that. I really like the way that one turned out as well. 
And let's see here. There's the frog's breath when there's their pattern paper here. And this one is so cute, guys. It says Death by Candy Corn. And this is the, I guess the last one I have, haven't showed you. Oh, no, I forgot, to, I forgot to show you guys this one. This one was the one that said small seeds of gratitude will produce a harvest of hope. Uh, Court made this, and it's, look, she um, stained it. And because it was this, it was from the wood pile, then she stained it and all my flowers fell out. She stained it and then she um, put vinyl on it and it's gold and white. How cute is that? It turned out so sick and cute. I'll move my flowers that I, <laughs> that I ruined. And then this one, guys, this says Death by Candy Corn. And all that Courtney did was she went in there in Design Space and took out the candy corn and made this um, brown and she put brown on it. And then she put it in a jar and put this raffia, raff, raffia, whatever on there. And guys, to top it all off, to just make it perfect, she spray painted the lid orange. How stinking cute is this? Then she filled it with candy corn and it's death by candy corn. And this is like such cute decor. Take it to your work, put it on your desk, let your coworkers nibble on the candy corn. Cause I me mean, personally, I don't love candy corn, but I love the look of candy corn. It's so fall and so cute. But as I set that down, I make a bunch of noise. But guys, we're all out. That, that's all of our cut files we've got going today. But if you have not already joined Makers and Learn, you can get in for $20 off today using the code MAKE at checkout that you really, really, really want to take advantage of. So go ahead and get that, guys. Go ahead and choose your membership tier. You can tap it and then you go ahead and go to coupons and just do M-A-K-E, apply coupon, to $20 off. Easy as that, guys. It's easy peasy to do. You guys will love the simplicity of that. And you can scroll on down here and see what's included in all of the memberships here not just the year membership you can see that all everyone gets that free printable guide you can see all of the ways that you should be able to join these are those three free e-courses i was talking about that you do get when you become a member uh, a yearly member only yearly members get these it's how to master your um, machine how to master design space and then how to build a business through die cutting which is really really cool and then this is my favorite way to see. I'm a very visual learner, guys. And this is an awesome way to see where you're getting the most savings here. So you can see you can pay $19.99 a month and get some of, the, some of the awesome perks we have to offer. Or you can pay $17.99 a month and get some more of the awesome perks that we offer. Or you can pay the lowest amount, $15.99 a month, build once. And of course, look at me. Build once and get every single resource we have to give. So you're essentially paying the least amount of money for the most amount of our resources, which is an amazing deal. And you do get that for $20 off using that code at the checkout. So use that code, guys. That code is good. You need to use the code. And we, um, we've went through the cut files. You guys let me know if you have any questions. Um, I absolutely love all the cut files that we've got going on here. The ones that are new are so sick and cute, okay? I love them. And we just scratched the surface of the projects we made here. This is the one that we didn't show you guys. This is the one that says, hello, fall. And it's boot sweaters and scarves. And this frame, guys, we actually got a Goodwill, okay? This is a Goodwill frame. Courtney spray painted it. And then a couple days later, after the spray paint was good and dry, she applied vinyl on it, which is just so, so cute. And look at me ruining stuff. I got her... I got our flowers out of this. I got to put them back. Look how cute this is. But th this could be made super easily. This is wood pile. Wood pile is from Hobby Lobby. So you can get this from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99. That's all this was. She stained it Jacko Bean. You guys know we love Jacko Bean. And then again, she just put some vinyl on and put some Dollar Tree flowers in there. So cute. So guys, let me know which was your favorite, okay? Uh, can you pay monthly? Do you pay full up front? So Elizabeth, if you purchase our yearly membership, you will pay up front the entire year. It will get billed to you uh, at once. Sorry, my shoe fell off. That's why I was leaning to get my shoe. But you do pay all at once, but that is why you get so many more perks. You pay all at once. It's a one-time uh, one charge every single year. And for that, since you uh, invest in us for a year, we invest in you guys in a year. And that's why we give you those three free e-courses, access to all of our fonts, and more are added all the time. And we also give you that free commercial license, which means you can sell what you make using uh, our cut files and fonts. So everything on this table you see here, you could sell on Etsy, on Facebook Marketplace, you know, on the side of the road, wherever you wanted to sell things, you can sell those, okay, and make money 
using our membership and not a lot of memberships have that free commercial license and it comes it's just one of those amazing perks for paying the least amount of money and for saying yes to a year of crafting so you get you get grandfathered into excuse me you get into a whole entire year of crafting too so 12 months of cut files 12 months of fonts 12 months of bonus collections 12 months of uh, new printable guides coming out because every yearly members guys you get it all we hold nothing back from our yearly members they're about 75% of the memberships that we sell are our yearly members because it's such a good deal. But we also know that sometimes it's just not ethical for people to be able to pay such a large amount. So you can pay monthly when you get the month or six month option, which is good. So definitely uh, check that out. Go look at those options. Of course, you would pay monthly for that um, monthly membership. But if you want to be a yearly member, you get $20 off using the code MAKE at the checkout. So definitely go do that. Or if you're a monthly or six monthly member and you want to update or upgrade, you totally can do that as well, which is awesome. Uh, Patricia said, where did Courtney find the bottles that have the Kool-Aid in them? So I don't know. Hobby Lobby. I do know. I lied. Hobby Lobby. It's Hobby Lobby $3.99. Hobby Lobby 249 and this one's Hobby Lobby 299 so those are from Hobby Lobby and these are three different colors of Kool-Aid that she added in here that's really really cute I think I think they're, they're adorable and this is Deadly Nightshade Worm's Wort and Frog's Breath don't know what any of those taste like but I'm sure they taste a lot less good than Kool-Aid but really really cute um, I have the monthly Melanie Moore, yes, we love all of our monthly uh, members and all of our six month members because you guys get all of our cut files, you guys get all of our printable guides and you guys get access to the members only Facebook group because our Facebook group is popping guys. We have over 3,000 like-minded crafters over there that just lift each other up and have a good crafty time and answer questions and give advice and it's awesome over there. So. If you haven't already, please consider getting a membership today. That is the number one way to support what we do. We also have our awesome Maker Material Box, guys. This is a $100 value, and it's crammed full with some amazing crafty goodness, okay? So if you want to get this, definitely go and get this um, at the link that Joseph just dropped. or The, the second link in the description below. There are four uh, subscription tiers. You can get a monthly, three month, six month, or a year. And much like our membership, um, much like our die cutting membership, the more you commit, the more money you save, and the more goodies you get, the more freebies you get, and the more resources you get, and things like that. So along with the box comes a video. Every single box it comes with a video of making projects that come in the box. Because in the boxes, we give you guys four to five project cards as well. So then we give you guys a video showing you how to make the project on the project cards, which is another awesome little bonus too. So. Go check that out um, and see see if you just want to get that. Because you don't have to. If Some people can't afford it, like I just read. Um, Stacy she said, I want to join and just can't afford yet. She probably is talking about the membership. But talking about the boxes as well, um, it's just something that if you want it, you can get it. And if you want to say yes to a whole year of that, then you get $1,200 worth of crafting straight to your door without having to go to the craft store for a fraction of the cost. It's just amazing. Kathy said, could you use food coloring? the water instead of Kool-Aid. Of course, it would do the same thing. It might, uh, it might not be, um, and this one's really clear. I think that one was different, but how these are kind of cloudy. I really like that these are cloudy, to be honest, because it kind of makes it easier to read it, if that makes sense. You agree? Yeah. It's a little cloudy, so it makes it, it easier is. to read, it's you not. know? And I think that if you did uh, just straight up food coloring, it wouldn't be as easy to read. You might put some more food, like make it Put more drops in that says or something. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, or darker. you maybe you could put some cornstarch in there right. to to yeah. make it a little cloudy. That'd be a fun thing to try. I don't know. That'd be good. Uh, Sharon said thanks, Rachel and Joe, for sharing ideas. Thanks, Tanner and Courtney, the Make It Sooner Learn team, for the ideas and great cut files. Can't wait to get crafting. Listen, that's what we're here to do, guys. We're here to inspire you guys all the time. That is what we are. That's what we're here to do, and we're so excited that you guys enjoy all these cut files and all these projects. Now, guys. Uh, every time I say it's a pretty day, it starts to rain. So I'm not going to say that. <laughs> it looks good outside. That's all I'll say. And Joe has things to do. I've got some things to do. And you guys have some crafting to do with these brand new cut files that just launched. I hope you guys enjoyed them. They're all so cute. And Courtney did an amazing job making these projects. And you guys just watch out because you're going to see these coming up next month 
all the time. We're really hitting fall hard because after fall, guys, we're going to be hitting Christmas. We're going to be hitting Christmas for months, and you guys do not want to miss it. Now is definitely the time to opt in and get that membership if you haven't already. But, guys, unless I have missed anything, which I don't think I did because Joseph has the amazing comments up here for me, then I think we're just going to go have a good rest of our day, Joe. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed these crafts. Let me know if you have any comments um, or let me know if you have any questions and I will be going uh, after this video has posted and reading the comments and making sure everybody is happy. And you guys let me know what your favorite uh, project is on the table. I love knowing that, okay? I couldn't pick one. Joe, do you know yours? I like the little bottles with stuff in them. Joseph likes these little bottles. Is that what you like? Is mm -hmm. that your favorite? I don't know. I really like the onesies, but I think this one might be my favorite. And it's so sad because it's so simple, but I'm, I'm a simple crafter. I really like this. This is just one like a little decor piece that I would love having in my home like that. But guys, let me know. Oh, wait, hang on. We got a quick question from Kimberly. Quick question. I have a laptop and an iPad, my, I, and I can't see my projects on both. So, problem. Joseph knows this. You have an option in Design Space to save your projects either on your iPad or on iCloud. Did I say iCloud? Yes. It's just called the cloud, isn't it? It's probably the quickest version of the cloud. No, it says cloud. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's cloud. It's on my iPad. That I, I do that on my iPad. So or I mean, you might have two different Cricut Design Space accounts. Maybe you did that, but it depends on if you've saved your personal projects on to your iPad or just onto iCloud. Because if you save them on your iCloud, then you'll be able to see it on the same um, account, whether you're on your iPad, desktop, laptop, whatever. So definitely just check, make sure you've only got one um, account and make sure you have saved all those to iCloud. Um, yeah, but that's, that's a good question. Thank you so much. But guys, Yvonne loves the onesies. I do too. Listen. I love all of them, though. I love all of them. Joseph loves this one. I love this one. You all keep commenting and telling us your favorites. But we're going to go and enjoy the rest of our day, and you guys go do the same. Go get crafty with these cut files, and let me know what you make. I absolutely love seeing your guys' pictures in the Facebook group, so go do that. I'm putting my hands behind my back now. I'm not waving anymore. I swear. Uh, so I'll see you guys later. Post what you guys make in the Facebook group. We'd love to see it. Tag me. Tag Tanner. Tag Court. We love to see you and we will see you guys later. Have a wonderful crafty day, guys. Bye.